LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, lift off conditions looking pretty good. ATS is ready for launch. Ignition. Lift off. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten, nine, eight. Side booster ignition. Six, five, four, three, two, one. T minus fifteen seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Ignition and lift off. Cargo Dragon takes flight, continuing a busy year of deliveries to a crew of seven aboard the International Space Station. Stage one chamber pressure is phenomenal. In about uh, 15 seconds here, we're coming up on max Q. This is where the vehicle will experience the highest amount of aerodynamic pressures. Max Q. And there was the call up for max Q. We actually throttled down the Merlin engines in preparation for that event. Coming up are five more events in rapid succession. Main engine cutoff, stage separation, first stage flip, second engine start one, and then the boost back burn on the first engine stage will begin. begin. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. In back ignition. Stage one, boost back burn startup. Okay, those were those five events. A lot happening on screen. Main engine cutoff, stage separation. Stage uh, one, boost back shutdown. The first stage performed a flip. Uh, second stage on the right hand side of the screen uh, ignited its Merlin vacuum engine. And on the left hand side of the screen, we're in the middle of that first stage boost back burn. Looks like we are getting some really cool views, um, contrails being produced by the first stage. And that was the call out for the successful completion of our first of three burns on the first stage. So if you're just joining us, you're watching a live webcast of the 23rd commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station for NASA. This is SpaceX's 21st mission this year. And um, this is the cargo configuration of our Dragon spacecraft. Acquisition of signal at Bermuda. You might be interested to know in order to get into space, the rocket has to do more than just go up. It actually has to go sideways really, really fast. Uh, at liftoff, gravity is pulling straight down the rocket. And as we ascend, we tilt the engines. That turns the rockets horizontally. Tico. Nominal orbit insertion. And we did get confirmation of both SECO, second engine cutoff, and a nominal orbital insertion. Now the second stage has one last major task, and that is commanding separation of Dragon a couple of minutes from now. Uh, again, this is the second flight for this particular Dragon and the first reuse of our upgraded cargo vehicle. Uh, we should have video of Dragon separation from the top of the second stage. It'll give us a nice view into Dragon's unpressurized cargo trunk. But uh, on the bottom left-hand side of the screen is um, a speedometer of sorts tracking the velocity of the first stage. As we begin that 
uh, second burn, watch for that speed to slow down. And uh, definitely once we hit the trajectory. upper, the denser parts of the atmosphere, uh, we'll start to see uh, the speed slow down quite significantly. Stage one, entry burn startup. And there is the beginning of the entry burn. Three Merlin engines have relit and are currently slowing down. Stage one, entry burn shut down. Awesome. That is the successful completion of the second burn. We are about 60 seconds away from landing and the vehicle is traveling uh, about 900 miles an hour. And this really puts into perspective the deceleration. In the span of less than a minute, we'll have uh, reduced the speed from um, the speed of a jet all the way down to zero as the rocket lands. Stage one, landing burn startup. A single engine, the center engine, engine number nine, has relit. Stage one, landing leg deploy. In preparation for landing. Stage one, landing confirmed. Uh, and that is the 90th successful landing for an orbital class rocket and the very first for our new drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas. That is a beautiful thing to see and a great way to start off today's mission. And when this Dragon makes its way to the International Space Station, it will be joining the Crew-2 vehicle Endeavour, currently on orbit and attached to the International Space Station. It's going to be super cool to see two Dragons docked to the International Dragon Space Station. Operation confirmed. And that is a great view of Dragon separating uh, Dragon from the top of the second stage. Uh, now the service section Dracos will undergo some checkouts. Uh, coming up is the beginning of the nose cone opening sequence. I'm going to hand it over to Shaniqua in, in Houston to talk a little bit more about that. Thanks, Andy. Everything is still going well back here in Houston. The next milestone is the nose cone deploy. The nose cone protects the docking hardware and rendezvous and tracking elements on top of Dragon, Dragon during ascent. The nose cone deployed uncovers the four forward bulkhead thrusters, which Dragon will use for its major burn maneuvers to catch up with the space station. Once open, the nose cone will stay in that position until the very end of its mission, closing prior to re-entry to provide some additional protection through that same hardware during re-entry. At 10 a.m. Central Time, 11 a.m. Eastern, once Cargo Dragon is docked to the station, MacArthur and Kimbrough will begin those hatch operations. Between the International Space Station and Cargo Dragon, the hatches will be opened. Megan? Thanks, Shaniqua. That's going to wrap up our launch coverage of SpaceX's 23rd Commercial Resupply Services mission. Cargo Dragon is on course to dock to the International Space Station at about 11 a.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. We will have live coverage of rendezvous and docking beginning at 9.30. In the meantime, you can learn even more about this mission on NASA.gov Commercial Resupply. Thank you for joining us, and we'll leave you with a replay of today's gorgeous launch.